Design for Change program in Tamil Nadu is being run by the Sarva Shiksha Abhyan through the Education Department. Our goal was basically to try and understand if the approach that Design for Change followed, which is the feel, imagine, do, share model, is transferable and whether it is long lasting. The methodology we use for this evaluation is called the Maximum Variation Sampling Technique. Through this methodology, we then came up with over 100 projects, each of which was graded in a double-blind manner by two independent researchers. With regards to the findings that have emerged out of this study, uh, the primary one has been that the FIDS or the Feel, Imagine, Do, Share model is a highly transferable and long-lasting model. We measured creativity using a single item from the Torrance test of creativity which was a test which is classic and has been created about five decades ago. So we used one of the items just to see if we can find any indicators of changes in curiosity and we find that when you give children you know, a little post-it with two parallel lines drawn on it um, and ask them to complete the image to the best of their imagination. The students who were participants in the Design for Change program come up with many more creative solutions as compared to the students who were not part of the Design for Change program. The students were given this issue that if you have a caste discrimination problem in your community, how are you likely to be solving it? And we recorded a whole number of uh, ideas and how the children would go about solving these issues. And again, these transcripts were analyzed using this model and we see that the FIDS, the Feel, Imagine, Do, Share aspect emerges through every conversation that we've had with the student. Across all 10 schools, not only were the solutions extremely innovative and creative, but one of the things that we saw was that when we asked them to imagine what this feels like, there was a strong sense of empathy. We were interviewing a parent uh, in one of the schools and we were talking to them about how they felt about their son participating and he had brought along a relative. And the relative then pointed out that once the kids had done this project and they had seen the kind of recognition the students had received, they had also seen the work of the students, it prompted him uh, to shift his own son from a private school and get him enrolled to this government school. If you take the cost of teacher training, which is on average about 500 rupees per teacher, and you divide that in a very conservative manner to say 10 students being impacted through a teacher, which is actually on a very low side, then it is roughly uh, about 50 rupees per student we're talking about. But if you really look at it, it's more than 10 students. It's an entire class, sometimes an entire school which is impacted. In addition to the community and the parents and the teachers themselves, we've even seen teachers taking a lot more initiative in running school activities as a result of having participated in this program. So it has a very long lasting and sustainable change at very low cost um, for all involved in the education system.